Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. My name's Hannah and on this channel, I post a lot of anti-MLM content. I'll link a playlist here and in the description box below. This is my big anti-MLM playlist. If you're someone who loves to binge this kind of content, that is the playlist for you. And I would love it if you would consider liking this video, maybe even subscribe if you're feeling a little crazy. Those things really help to support my channel and I appreciate you so much for doing that. You guys, it's seven in the morning. I have my iced coffee, I have my makeup here. I'm getting ready for the day today. I'm feeling very ambitious like I might try and film a lot of videos today. And if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know the drill. I'm gonna get ready for the day as we're watching this Modere Zoom call. Modare is a company that I really haven't covered much on my channel. I feel like this might be even the first Zoom call that's ever been sent to me from this company. I have a lot of Zoom calls on Monate, on Arbon. I just recently did one on Beachbody, but Modare is new to the scene for me. So I'm really excited to watch this. This is an opportunity call, meaning that if anybody out there expresses interest in this business opportunity, they're gonna get sent a link to this call. And the purpose of this presentation is to pitch the business opportunity to the viewers and try and convince them to join. This call is hosted by four different people. They kind of take turns presenting school presentation style. And the attendees on the call presumably are those who are interested in signing up. So they're coming, they're watching the call to get some more information about it. And these kinds of opportunity calls are very fascinating to me because you get to watch firsthand the people in the company try and explain what their opportunity opportunity is. And oftentimes within that explanation, there's a lot of bending the truth. There's a lot of omission. There's a lot of manipulation. And in the case of Modare specifically, they swear that they're not an MLM. They call themselves social marketers and their company is a social marketing company, not an MLM or a network marketing company. We're going to get into that. That is a huge theme that runs throughout this call. But just take note of that, that in addition to pitching the business opportunity, they're also also trying really hard to convince you that it's not an MLM. Very intriguing to watch. So let's get into it. Okay. Yay. Wow. We're so glad you're here guys. And just like Colette said, we do not want this to run all night long. We're going to try and get this real quick done in 30 minutes because we really value your time and we just don't need to be on Zoom. Straight straight out. Out. So with that being said, we're each going to kind of tell you a smidge about us because you likely came here because you know, one of us but the four of us have been working together a lot lately, which has been so great. So um, my name is Kathleen. If you don't know me, um, I live in North Carolina. I have three kids with my husband, um, started this business almost two months ago. I want to say it was like two months ago and really just was looking for something. All my kids are under the age of five and I was looking for something that would give me an income opportunity, but would not take so much of my time. Um, I was partnered with a company before this and it was great for a long time, but it was, it was easier to do when I had one kid or two kids, um, and wasn't like so incredibly overwhelmed at home. And, uh, our family is just really, really important. And in the way that like, I need to be on all the time. My kids are so little and so like I am changing diapers and wiping butts and wiping noses just all day long. And I need something that is going to fit into that life, but also pay me, um, pay me a very decent amount for my work that I'm doing. And that's what I've found here at Modare. So I'm just really excited because I do not have a huge following. I'm not like some sort of unicorn create. I'm just a stay at home mom who really wanted to help my family out. And I needed something that was going to give me more freedom than, uh, than my previous experience. So really psyched to share that with you guys. She made a point to address the fact that she was in a different MLM before Modare and that it didn't work out for her very well. Take note of that, okay? She's claiming that that other opportunity, that other company didn't work out because it took too much of her time and didn't pay her well enough for her time. And she needed a different company that was gonna be more flexible with her busy schedule as a mom. That's what she said, but here's what I heard. I heard my old company was too oversaturated and I was working really hard not getting anywhere. So I had to switch companies where the opportunity was a little bit better. Remember the work that's being done in an MLM is the exact same no matter what company you're with. The income producing activities are selling a product and recruiting people. And what do you have to do to do those things? You cold message people on Instagram, you host these opportunity Zoom calls, you make endless social media posts promoting the opportunity and trying to entice people into it. Maybe you're gonna do a live stream. Maybe you're gonna set up shop at a craft fair or a farmer's market. Those are the exact same strategies of selling and recruiting that are used across the board 
support of all MLM companies. Some companies may utilize some of those strategies more than others, but generally speaking, the work that you're gonna be doing in an MLM serves to get you to those goals, recruiting and selling. It's not necessarily that her workload is going to be lighter or different now that she's with Modare, but maybe that work that she's doing is gonna get her a little bit farther in the company. If Modare isn't as oversaturated as her previous company was, then she might see more return on her efforts, right, of recruiting and selling. Because the more reps you have in a company, the older the company is, the bigger the company is, the more people out there there are that are either in the company, have joined the company and quit, have heard about the company and don't want any part of it, or have already been pitched by somebody else. So the smaller, the newer, the lesser known the MLM company is, the better the opportunity is going to be because the more people there are in that pool who have not yet been recruited or sold to. Just something I picked up on right away that I wanted to point out because right off the bat, she's saying to these people, I joined Modare because it's just easier. The company just pays me more than any other MLM would, which may in a sense be true. You might find it easier to sell and recruit for Modare than you did for your previous company, but it's not just because the compensation plan is just better and the company just pays you more. More likely that is a result of the oversaturation and the popularity of the company. Um, I'm Corianne. I'm the other and so we're not, we're actually not related at all, but I feel like we are. Um, Seriously, we are. Yeah. I am from the Seattle area. I am also a mom of three. I have three boys um, and I'm married and we like to travel. We want to maybe sell everything and live in our RV. And this kind of affords us that opportunity. So um, we want to get on the road and this, the daily twice a day pay and the incredible products have just been such an incredible eye-opening, wonderful, amazing opportunity that I wasn't really expecting. I also came from a previous company that um, was great for a lot of years until it wasn't. And then it just was very hard to do anything. Um, it was hard to grow. It was frustrating. I was, I was, uh, you know, more frustrated than I was excited every day. And here and doing this with these people in this community has just had me so excited. So um, I'm glad you guys are all here and ready to learn about why we love Modare. Well, there you go. Maybe I should have just shut up for a second and let the video play and then she would have explained that exact point. Quote, my previous company was great for a lot of years until it wasn't. It was hard to grow, it was frustrating. Bingo, okay? It's not a matter of working hard. It's a matter of joining the company, joining the business opportunity at a time where the size of the company and the recruitment pool are both working in your favor rather than working against you. Hey guys, I'm Colette. I'm in South Carolina best state, best city in the world, in my opinion. Um, I work full time for a consulting firm. I do marketing, HR and social media for them as well as recruiting. And then I sl sling some collagen on the side. So this is really the best job. If you have a lot going on, whether you're just a busy mom, whether you do have another job with Modare, I feel like I can just fit it in when I have time during my day opportunity. We previously built a six-figure business before, and we've been doing this for three months now, and all of our team is seeing success. And we are just so excited to share this now with you guys. Okay. Hey guys. Um, I'm Jules. A lot of you know me. Some of you don't. Um, my real name's Juliana. I live in Montana. I also have children. We've got two kids. We are stopping it too. For those of you with three. Praise us you too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I feel like it is a hundred. Um, anyway, <laughs> I live in Montana. We've got two kiddos. I've actually been in network marketing for almost five years. I fell into it accidentally. Um, and it became like the coolest thing I had ever done. It really allowed me a lot of free time. It allowed me to not have to get like a job outside of my house. Um, I actually found it when I just had my first baby. Um, my daughter, and she's almost five, she'll be five next month. And it really just unlocked this whole new world for me that I didn't know was possible. Um, it, it's just been amazing. And I am such a huge, like, just advocate for doing whatever works for you. And, um, I also come from a previous company, um, 
It was really amazing. It taught me so much. And I got these three girls out of it and so many more women that I just love so dearly. Um, I really found a sisterhood there and that's been like the best thing ever. Um, and it was actually a big reason why I came to Modair because I saw a need for my entire team, my entire sisterhood. Um, they really needed more and they needed more with less. And so I was really seeing that from other people, people I loved and trusted were, you know, using this collagen. It was amazing. Like the, the products are there. And so I like dove more into the compensation and just kind of what it looks like. And I was blown away at the simplicity. And I still find myself being like, wait, what's the catch? <laughs> like, there's gotta be more to this, you know, like, how can I just do all of this from an app and whatever it's all done for me. So anyway, um, it's been amazing. I can't wait to get to know some of you more and just kind of show you guys. We've got a really fun slideshow for you. Um, bear with us because it's our very first call. We're going to do our very best and power through it, but I'm so excited you guys are here and I can't wait to see some of you jump into this business and just see, you know, your, your self-confidence explode while you also earn money while staying home with your kids. Nothing compares. So we're going to kick it off. Did you catch that? She said she was also in a previous MLM and she poached her team from that company and she brought them to Modare. Where is my phone? I need to figure this out. Yeah, Zeke, we're on the case. We're gonna figure this out. Okay, I just did a little bit of digging and I'm pretty sure that all of these people came from Young Living, at least three of the four. The three who specified, I did network marketing previously and it didn't work out for me. It's looking like they all used to sell Young Living. So knowing that, Young Living and Modare were founded around the same time, in the early 1990s. But I will say that today, Young Living is far more popular than Modare is. I'm sorry for my cat, I'm just gonna talk over him. Yeah, I just have to talk over you, buddy. He brought me his toy and he wants to play fetch. But the thing is, if I throw it one time, he's gonna come back every 10 seconds. Do you think we can play fetch when I'm done? Okay, sounds good. As I was saying, Young Living is far more popular these days, especially amongst the young millennial stay-at-home mom population, specifically in the Northwest quadrant of the United States. It is extremely oversaturated, and believe it or not, Young Living is bleeding reps right now. There are several factors as to why people are quitting Young Living like nobody's business. There might even be this religious aspect of it that I've been taking note of, compiling evidence for that might be a video on its own in the future. But the point being, it makes perfect sense to me that they left Young Living. So many people are. That company is tanking right now. And it also makes sense to me that they are jumping ship to go to a company like Modare, which is not very popular. So presumably the recruitment pool is bigger and the more lucrative the opportunity is, if you get in quick enough. If you get in before all the other Huns from all the other MLMs jump ship from their companies and join Modare too. It's gonna be especially lucrative for you if you are the one poaching your existing team and going copy, paste, different company. If you have a pre-existing team that you are bringing with you, that is going to be easy, easy money for you. That is gonna set you up really beautifully to make a lot of money really quickly because you're not spending any time at all building that team from the ground up. And we're seeing this happen a lot with other MLM companies as well. Specifically, the biggest one that comes to mind is Monate. Monate is also bleeding reps like nobody's business. And we've seen this happen on multiple occasions where big teams will just band together and move to a different company. They've moved to Q Sciences, to iGenius. And if you can just copy paste your old team over to a lesser known MLM, of course you're gonna see a better opportunity out of that than you did before. Okay, so flip that slide for me, clip. Because I don't think I can do it myself. Oh, maybe I can. I don't know, but I'm gonna make you do it for me. Okay, so I wanna talk about the difference in multi-level marketing MLM and social retail, because this is, this is a huge reason all four of us jumped in, uh, because we had experience with network marketing and MLMs. Um, and we knew that it was something that would fit easily into our lives. However, social retail almost like took it to the next level for us. And all of us have other things. Like some of us have full-time jobs. At one point, Juliana was running an entire boutique. Like we do not have time to be consumed by something, but we definitely do want to monetize what we have, which is very cool these days with social media. So 
with social retail, it's basically like anyone with any size following can win here because the systems are that good. They're that simple and they're that easy to duplicate. You know, there's no like 60 day training of like learning a bunch of different ways of doing things or like finding your niche in what you're doing. It's like, here are the three steps to how to do this job. It's very simple and they want you to win. So step one is there's multiple systems that are the easy button for you. And one of those is the shout app or you can, it's the same thing. You can use the shout app or you can send a text to a specific number and they will text you prompts every single day of what to do. And what I have done is I've just really customized them to be personal to me. And all of them have been very easy to customize because it's been my journey with collagen, which has been cool. Okay. So like all the prep work of like inspiring you to do something each day, that's very simple and very duplicable is there. Step two you're going to download the Modere app and the Modere Life app. And this is where you log in. Your shareable link is on there. You can copy and paste it and send it to literally anyone. You can post it in your stories and your $10 off link, which every social marketer gets is embedded right in that, in that link. And so not only are you not like setting up accounts for people or like trying to navigate a website, it's like, Hey, download this app or use this link, the $10 off is already in there and get whatever you need. Um, the Modere Life app has a fact sheet and clinical trials and stuff linked to all of their products. It's so simple to direct people to the quality of what Modere is doing right now. And I found that in my previous company, I would be like, let me take hours explaining to you all of the details of this product and why I love it or my personal experience or testimony, which I was happy to do because I loved the things. But with Modere, what I found is I'll go to one app, send my link, has the code in it. And then I'll go to the other app and copy and paste the link for the BioCell Life Collagen and say, here's the science. Here's what it does. It's clinically proven to do what it says it's going to do. Let me know if you need help. And it is just so, so simple. Okay. And with the way that they have the system set up, your third app is the Modere MyPay app. And basically, if you sell something in the morning, you're going to get paid in the afternoon. Okay. They want you to see the fruits of your labor, guys. They know that this is a huge bonus and they know that people, especially these days, need money right now. Okay. So, like, I cannot wait six months, two months, 30 days for a paycheck, but I'm absolutely going to do it if I can make it by tonight, you know, if I can buy my groceries tomorrow, if I can fill up my gas tank on Tuesday, like these are just simple things that they have known are, are what people need right now. So you can flip that for me again, Colette, if you don't mind. Okay, so here's the thing. That whole section of the presentation was dedicated to differentiating between Modere and an MLM. That was the point. She was like, here's what Modere has that other MLMs don't, and that's why we're social marketing and not an MLM. And if I'm understanding correctly, she was talking about how Modere has three different apps. The first app tells you what to post every day, so it basically sends you a message or a notification, and it's like, here's what to do today, here's what to post. The second app is where you can send a link to your friends, and give them a $10 product credit. And then the third app is the one where you get paid. I think that's what she's saying. So let's talk about the first app, the one that gives you these prompts about what to post. I will admit, I don't think I've seen any other MLM company use this kind of app or formula or whatever it is. As an outsider, as somebody who's not in the company, that app kind of seems a little bit alarming to me. I would be interested to see that in action because what it sounds like is that maybe everybody in the company is getting the same notification that day, or maybe it's based on like the number of days you've been in the company, like day one, post this, day two, post this. But regardless, it kind of makes it feel like the content that you're putting out there as a Modere rep isn't original. It's based on a formula that apparently is duplicable and it works for everybody. And like I said, I would like to see that in action because as somebody outside the company looking at that, I feel like I'd be able to see right through that. Like, wait a minute, all my Modare friends are posting the same thing today. The things that MLM reps post to promote their product and business opportunity already feel really disingenuous. They already feel super heavily crafted for the purpose of pitching you. And so I feel like having this app that sends out what to post to everybody in the company every day, that would make it even worse maybe. Like I said, I don't know much about this app, but that's kind of my impression of it. 
at least based on her explanation. And you know what? That kind of says a lot, right? Because this is supposed to be an opportunity call where you are explaining the business opportunity to people who want more information. And if I was sitting on this call, that would already feel really weird to me as an outsider, as someone who's not familiar with the business, that would already make me raise an eyebrow. The second app where you can take a link and send a code to your friends for $10 off. Yes, I also admit that is different than other MLM companies. It's not very often that you see like a $10 off coupon that you can just pass around and get credit for. And then the third thing she talked about is getting paid two times a day. And this is something that I always find so hilarious because I always say it doesn't matter how many times you're getting paid. It matters what the amount is on those paychecks. You can boast all you want that you get paid twice a day, but how much is on that check? Like 10 bucks? You sell a product in the morning and you get a $10 commission in the afternoon? Like big whoop, my dude. But again, that payment structure does seem to be unique to Modere, at least as far as I know. Until this point, I've only seen companies pay out like every week, every Friday, but getting paid every day, that is something that I haven't seen elsewhere. But here's the deal. An app that tells you what to post, having a $10 credit link and getting paid two times a day, none of those things serve to explain how Modere is not an MLM. Her slide was titled How Social Retail Works. And she was trying to explain how this is different than the traditional MLM model, but it's not. <laughs> sure, Modere has these little unique facets to it, but that doesn't mean that it's not an MLM, which as a viewer of this call, you're starting to ask yourself, why do they care so much about differentiating between an MLM and Modere? Why do they want that separation so bad? And it's because the term multi-level marketing or MLM has such a bad reputation these days. A few years ago, when people really started to catch on to how MLMs are scams, they started to change the terminology. Then they started calling themselves network marketing. Then it was direct sales. Then it's social retail. Now it's social marketing. It's all the same thing. There is absolutely zero difference between the different business models of those different terms. If you're in a business model where you get paid to sell a product, but you also get paid bonuses on the work you do recruiting people and building a team, congrats, that's an MLM. But companies are deliberately changing this terminology as a form of deception. They know that MLM has a bad reputation. They know that network marketing doesn't sound good anymore. So they're constantly coming up with these shiny new terms for the same crap. And I feel like if you have to work so hard to convince people that you're not an MLM scam, that's a red flag in and of itself. Okay. What you don't have to do, guys, we don't need to be weird here. I promise. Okay. Never sent a cold message in my life and I'm not about to start now. Um, I, there's just no need to do, to become Modere. Okay. This is a big difference for me. It's like Modere is not your life. Modere is not your identity. It's not, it's not who you are. It's a really cool thing that you like and share about. And that's great. Um, I have three kids under five. I don't have time for parties. I don't have time to teach hour long classes. I just don't, I have 15 minutes during nap time to drink my collagen and post the graphics that our team already does for me. Everything is pre-done and pre-made all of the resources are there. Um, and all the weirdness that comes with MLMs. It's just like, I don't even touch any of that because social marketing has adopted what works for everyone these days, which is shopping through social media. You know, like you buy your moisturizer through social media, you buy your leggings through social media, you buy your coffee machine through social media. Okay. This is where everyone's shopping. And if you have a social media, you should monetize it in some sort of way. And so we want that to be something that's so simple and easy that anyone can duplicate it. And that's what Modere has done. So again, the difference between traditional MLM and social retail. So if your normal MLM, like the only way to make money is by building a team. And with social retail and Modere, you can build an entire income that is sustainable only selling product to happy customers. Okay. The way that they do things is driven by customers. They have an 11 to one ratio, which basically means that the majority of your sales and your team is going to be just customers who are thrilled with the products that are clinically proven to work. I can already tell that this section of the presentation is going to be very misleading. So I'm just going to pause it as we go down the list. Okay. First of all, that says traditional MLM, you have to recruit and build a team to make money 
but in their company, you can build a solid income through selling single products. Okay, so there's two sides to the Modere compensation plan. There is the promoter side. This is just the selling side. If you don't wanna recruit anybody at all, you're gonna call yourself a promoter, and there are different brackets of different levels of commissions that you get depending on how much you sell and how many customers you have. So it's its own like little tiered plan over here. I'll actually put the chart on the screen right here. So if you wanted to be at that top rank of the selling side of the compensation plan to make the most commission, 36%, you would need to have 45 different customers and between them, they would all need to buy at least $9,000 of product in a month. Now we're gonna go down a little bit of a math tangent here. Let's break this down if you wanted to make a full-time income with Modere. I know not everybody does. I think one person on the call here does have a different full-time job, but I think three out of the four, this is it for them. This is all the money they're bringing in. So I can imagine that ideally they would like to be bringing in a full-time income. The Bureau of Labor Statistics says that the mean annual wage in the United States is $58,000. So let's just go with that for the purpose of this example. I know that in some parts of the country, you can get by on much less. I know in some parts you have to have a lot more, but let's just go with the annual mean, okay? If you wanted to make $58,000 from Modere, you would need to sell $161,000 of product within the year. This means you would need to be selling about $3,000 worth of product a week. This breaks down to be about $440 a day, and that's what you would need to be selling to make a full-time income from Modere, from just selling nothing else. You could make good money just just by selling, sure, but it's not realistic. It's actually extremely unrealistic. Think of how many people you would have to be in contact with. Think of how many customers you would need to have to sell $440 of product a day every day for an entire year. She just said in the previous slide that they don't encourage cold messaging, they don't host parties, they don't post about it all day every day. Okay, but then how do you expect people to find a volume of customers big enough to sustain an income just by selling the products? The point being, is it possible to make good money from just selling? Yeah, it is. Is it probable? Absolutely not. So that's the selling side, the promoter side. You are just promoting the products and that's it. But then there's the other side of the compensation plan, the team building side or the recruiting side or the part that makes this company an MLM. These are the people that call themselves the social marketers. So there's promoters and social marketers. If you wanna be a social marketer and recruit, now you're gonna have breakout bonuses, unilevel commissions, rank advancement bonuses, rank advancement matching bonuses, dynamic team leader and director bonus, four and more builder bonus, sharing bonus, monthly selling reward, consistency selling reward, and leadership management bonuses. So you tell me which path sounds like it's going to pay you more. The one where you only make a commission on the products you sell or the one that has 10 additional bonus systems that reward that team building activity of recruiting. It's not rocket science. Obviously people are going to go the team building route because if you're treating this like your job or a business opportunity, Clearly, you would not choose the route that's gonna pay you one way. You're gonna choose the route that's gonna pay you that one way in commissions plus 10 other bonuses. So guess what? Modera is still an MLM no matter how many times you try to convince us it's social marketing, okay? Continuing on. So in MLMs, the majority of your volume is going to come from other business builders who are purchasing product. And like that is just not sustainable. And also like we don't want people spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on our own product, like just to maintain where they're at. That's not what we want. Okay. Um, traditional MLMs, you have to build a business. So there's no like referral system. Um, you really only grow and are recognized when you're a business builder and you usually have to buy some sort of starter kit or entryway in to get a wholesale pricing or a discounted pricing. So Modere has switched over with social retail and basically said, we really value you for bringing in customers or uh, social marketers, and we really want you to be benefiting from both. So the commissions are higher the more sales that you do, which is wild. And they have an entire system of customer referrals where your new customer will get a discount. Your customer who referred them will get an account credit and you will make commission. They want everyone to win here and they want duplication done from their people and they're going to reward you for doing it. So for me, just seeing the difference broken down 
in commission, in the possibility of growth and just the ease in sharing and not being like icky and weird and like, you should build a business. It's like so many times I found myself like saying, I would love to serve you where you're at. If you just want to buy your collagen and enjoy it, like I'm so happy to serve you there. Like, please don't even worry about this business side of it. But like, if you want to build a business, like that's great too. So that has kind of switched things around for a lot of us. You can swipe that collect. If I can do this myself, I'm sorry, but honestly, let's be real. She really breezed through those last points on that slide, but I will give Modere credit here for their referral program situation kind of thing. If I'm a Modere customer, not even a distributor, just a customer, it sounds like I get my own unique code for $10 off that I can share with people. So from her explanation, it sounds like if I were to give a $10 off code to my mom and she bought something, then I would get a $10 credit towards a future purchase. And then the person who sold it to me, the person in Modere, there is gonna get credit for both of our purchases, I'm pretty sure. So to be fair, that does seem to be unique to Modare. I don't think I've seen any other MLM companies have this system. At this point, I'm a freaking broken record, okay? But just because you have a little piece of your compensation plan that's different from other MLMs doesn't mean that your company is not an MLM. <laughs> the sheer fact that you have a compensation plan called team building, where you're paid out 10 different kinds of bonuses and you're paid out all these different levels of commissions on people on your team, that is what defines a multi-level marketing company and Modere is no different. Okay. So these are a couple examples of some girls who just like jumped in and are normal, regular human beings without like, I'm not an influencer by any means, guys go to my page and you'll see. Um, so Haley started out, she's a homeschool mama for, um, she's a normal human being. She has a normal, small following and normal friends and no experience in network marketing. Okay. That's a huge one too. I feel like everyone's like, I've never done this before. It's like, good. Okay. Come in fresh. Um, so she started off with 186 customers just for her first post and that first month. And the more you sell, especially when you're over 9,000 in sales, I mean, the commission is 36%. I have never seen this high of a commission rate in any company I've ever looked into. And like, when I tell you, I've looked at everyone's comp plans, I've looked at them all. Um, Okay. So Arlene is a full-time speech language pathologist. She works 40 hours a week. Okay. She started Modere with 175 followers on Instagram. She's a normal human being. Okay. So for her 15 active customers, she's earning 30% in commission and she's already ranked platinum and director one. So she has ranked not only on the customer side, but the promoter side, because she's building on both, which is another key thing. You can just enroll customers. You can build a business or you can do both sides and win on in every direction. So season is an owner and physical therapist. Um, this is, she's a homeschool mama three. She started Modere with 500 followers. This is just a really great way for you to see that people are doing this with full-time jobs. People are doing this homeschooling their kids. People are doing this just staying at home and not having a nine to five job. There's so many different ways. And then our last one is Brittany. She's a homeschooling mom of three. She's a doula photographer. Um, she had a small following on Instagram as well. No experience with network marketing. And just with a hundred customers her first month, she's earning 32% commission and platinum one and director three, which are huge milestones. And we have just seen this over and over and over again with people who are small followings jumping in and just being really genuine in what they're sharing and winning. They're just making it easy for everyone to win. The purpose of this section of the presentation is to send the message that anyone can do this, right? Clearly mothers are a big target for this company, but they're also making the point to say, this person started with no experience and a small social media following. This person is a homeschool mom. This person has a full-time job. A lot of opportunity calls will have this kind of section in it. And this is so they can cast a wide net of different experiences so that the people viewing ideally will be able to pick out little pieces that they can see themselves in and to have examples of like, wow, I'm also a homeschool mom. And if she can do it, I can do it. A very common tactic with these opportunity calls. I think we are going to jump into the products now, which I'm so excited about because this was one of the main reasons that we all made the switch. Um, we have 4 million customers worldwide in the last seven years. Um, but collagen is in such high demand. Like if you, if you guys are out at a store, I guarantee you've seen shelves and shelves of collagen and what sets ours apart um, is a lot of things, but we, uh, Kathleen mentioned a lot of the clinical trials and, um, third-party testing and all of that. 
Um, EWG verified, EPA certified, NSF is a certification that only Olympic athletes, um, they can only take, um, they can only take supplements that are, that have this NSF certification. Apparently it's very hard to get our products are NSF certified, which is huge. Um, number one collagen product in the world, seven international patents, multiple award-winning products. So when we say that, that it can't be duplicated, it literally cannot be duplicated because we have patents. No one can make what we have. Okay. And that is incredible. Um, the last bullet there said that we've won awards. This is just an example of our awards. One thing I think is really important to note is that these are not, um, MLM or network marketing awards. These are awards across the board, industry awards, um, mom and baby, green and gorgeous editor's choice, like all the stuff that they are recognized for is not just in the tiny world of network marketing. It is in the industry, which is huge. Okay. Okay. So she just listed off a bunch of testing and awards and patents that their products have received. That's great. These things apply specifically to their liquid biocell collagen product. It doesn't apply to all of their products. Keep that in mind. I also have never personally heard of any of these publications that these awards are coming from. I was just kind of squinting at the screen, like what are these? <laughs> I've never heard of Neutral Ingredients, Pure Beauty Magazine, Beauty Shortlist, or Supply Side West before. So honestly, these awards are not very impressive to me, but let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Okay, let's just say the collagen product truly is amazing. It has won all these awards. It's got these patents. It's still 70 to $75 for a 30 day supply, which feels a bit outrageous to me, this is twice as expensive as non MLM liquid collagen products out there. And if you're incorporating this into your daily routine as a supplement, that's going to cost you like $900 a year. And this is kind of the obligatory part in the video where I have to tell you that I don't care how good an MLM product is. I would still never advise people to buy anything from an MLM, no matter how great you think it is, because at the end of the day, you would still be financially supporting a very problematic and predatory business model. That's just my two cents on that. Cause I'm willing to acknowledge that some MLMs do have some good products. I'm not above admitting that, but that doesn't mean that they aren't extremely overpriced for what they are. And it doesn't mean that your money couldn't be spent on more ethical companies elsewhere. So the stuff works and it's proven. Um, this is my favorite product ever. This is the BioCell. I am a big fan of the skin one. They're basically all of the same collagen matrix, the collagen and hyaluronic acid, but they have different additives to like make them insanely amazing. So skin is the one I love. It has ceramides and vitamin C. Um, overall though, the collagen matrix, collagen matrix that is in these bottles um, improves joint mobility and lubrication, joint discomfort, healthy cartilage, dry skin, youthful glowing skin, like literally from the inside out, you guys. Um, we have people with testimonies about their hair. My husband takes the sport. He says that since he's taken the sport, he does uh, labor. So like he paints houses and stuff. He's a contractor. Um, he says that his pain has decreased significantly, like his like soreness and stuff. So, um, it increases skin collagen. The hyaluronic acid does by 6,000% in 28 days, which is amazing. Again, clinically proven. Here are some testimonies. I have tons saved on my um, social media. A lot of people do, but these are just some of the incredible stories of people that have been taking Modere. Um, we have a group called Real Results, which is on Facebook. We literally do not have to sell these products, you guys, because these people get into this group. I have my friends and people I don't even know buying from my link. And I'm like, holy cow, I don't even know who that person is, but they must have seen a link I shared or you know, someone sent them to me. I, I don't have to sell this stuff because as you can see, these testimonies just kind of speak for themselves. So we can go to the next one here. Lots more amazing testimonies with hair trim. Um, I think we're going to go over trim here in a second, but you'll see some of the testimonies here for trim with um, fat loss. It's just amazing. This one on the right with the acne, the adult acne, like blew my mind when I first saw it, like the best thing ever. And we know these people, these are actually real people. Uh, leading the wellness industry, you guys, Fido's was the second thing that I, that I ordered besides collagen. This is the thing that actually sold Kathleen. Like she was obsessed with Fido's even before she was obsessed with collagen. Um, but the reds have the seven veggies and fruits. Um, I, I think the reds is for like cardio and all that, like, uh, your cardiovascular system, the greens, um, 23 super greens, marine and leafy greens, roots and fungi, all the mushroom goodness, all the things you can possibly put in your body that maybe you don't have time for in the kitchen, you're going to find them in these little bottles. So, um, Fido Gold is like turmeric and black pepper. Great for 
everything. Um, this thing is a game changer for me. I'm out of it right now. <laughs> and I can tell like hundred percent. Um, if I wasn't convinced before I'm on day two of not having it. And I absolutely can tell. So it's a pre post and probiotic all in one, uh, supports gut barrier integrity, supports brain and cognitive health. Um, it helps my anxiety. You guys, when I have this in my system, I, I feel different, like emotionally. And that sounds so crazy, but they do say your gut is like your second brain. And I can absolutely tell when it's not op operating at the optimal level. Okay. So we love this. We all love this stuff. Um, this is our cell proof line. I actually ordered this because, um, it went on sale for mother's day. And so I had just joined and then I ordered this stuff. This is incredible. You guys are skincare and our like lip complex and eye cream. They are, they are shocking. And like the eye cream, you can actually watch it work. Like within five minutes, you can see before and afters of people and it's kind of mind blowing. It sells itself. So, um, yeah, it's this stuff is amazing. Clinically, um, scientifically formulated with potent and award winning ingredients, reduces wrinkles, uneven skin tone. It's just the best stuff. Um, there, I don't know if it's on there. Oh yeah, the tanning foam and the and the body firming foam. Those things are like MVPs. People rave about them. Um, there is also I don't see it on there maybe, but an infusion mask and it's like tingly and wonderful. I love it so much. So definitely try the skincare if you are getting started with collagen. This is a next step for you. What else do we got? Okay, Modera leading the way. We're a global leader in clean living products. Um, number three, fastest growing female led company. We're up 320% in business over the last year. Um, the CEO is incredible. If you guys don't follow her yet, go check her out on Instagram. She is constantly, constantly being recognized by industry experts and um, different people, not again, not just in social or uh, network marketing and MLM. She's just somebody that has so much respect in the industry that it's so fun to see her awarded and recognized over and over and over again. And she is the scientist that formulated, um, formulated uh, our collagen. So she is a freaking genius. We love her so much. Am I, am I done? I'm just going to keep talking until someone tells me. I'm uh, yeah, close to uh, Juliana is on the next okay. <laughs> okay. Jules, it's you now. Here's the last thing I'll say about the products in the context of MLMs. I'm willing to admit that sometimes the products do work. People do like them. People do buy them because they genuinely see results out of them. But in MLM companies, the products hold a secondary function. Selling a product is one of the ways that MLM companies can keep themselves legal. But at the end of the day, MLMs are still product-based money-making schemes. The primary function of an MLM like Modere is to recruit other people to participate in the compensation plan. It's not really about selling a great product to retail customers because if the products truly were as effective and desirable as the reps say they are, then they should theoretically have no issue being sold in the retail market based on supply and demand. But that's the thing. MLM products aren't desirable. They're incredibly expensive. They're gimmicky and they're trendy for people looking for a quick fix or some cure to an ailment they have. And then the company requires thousands of reps to go out there on social media and shove it down people's throats in order to sell anything. If this liquid collagen product truly was as amazing as she's making it out to seem, it would be flying off of retail shelves. It would not be pitched to you in your Instagram DMs by a woman looking to make a commission. A couple other things I wanna point out are these misleading claims on this slide. The first one being that Modere is the number three fastest growing female led company. According to who and what is that based on? It's always fascinating to me that they'll throw throw up these statistics on their slides, but they won't cite any sources. And this particular statistic is kind of funny to me because of course MLM companies grow really fast. That is the point. <laughs> They're literally recruitment based, okay? The goal is to grow fast. And I can't stand the fastest growing language because we don't know what that's in reference to. It's not clear if that's in reference to product sales to customers or not. Are we talking about retail sales here or are we talking about the revenue the company has made selling startups kits to people who join the business opportunity. Same with this up 320% in business over the last year. Again, according to who? Can you cite some sources, please? Is this in reference to product sales? Is this in reference to recruitment volume? And I kind of have to laugh that they're citing how their business has grown over the past year because in my mind, I'm like, yeah, no duh. People are leaving their other MLMs to come to Modere. So what do you expect? 
You four left your previous MLM to come to Modere. You are a part of that business growing. I'm not surprised in the least that they would report this kind of growth because there is a mass exodus of people leaving the more popular oversaturated MLMs and coming to less popular ones like Modere. I know that all of these things might seem a little nitpicky, but I just wanna try and get the point across that there is a lot of room for misleading claims to pop up in these businesses. Because what are we really looking at right now? We're looking at a Modere rep on a Zoom call showing us a PowerPoint presentation without citing any sources about where she's getting any of her information from. So how seriously should we be taking this information, you know? Okay, you guys, I am going to finish us off. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the company. I'm on my phone, so bear with me. I can't, You'll kind of see me squinting to see <laughs> some of these words. Um, one thing that has already been touched on a little bit is um, just like the customers. So Modera has over 4 million customers, um, $2 billion in revenue, $1 billion paid out in commissions. And there's a 10 to one customer ratio. Kathleen had mentioned 11 to one. And I think she is more close now. I think that number keeps getting bigger. Um, and that's an 85% customer, like to builder ratio. And you can basically consider that the retention rate. Um, I'm familiar with retention rate being the most important thing when coming to a company. And so it's really, really nice to be here and know that that retention rate is literally through the roof and like that's going to keep us going so so well um one thing i think is really weird is the fact that they even have a bullet telling us their customer to rep ratio the pure existence of that bullet is alarming to me i've seen other reps from other companies make this kind of claim too and i always think it's so strange like you have to make a point of telling us that there's actual customers out there buying your products you have a section of your presentation dedicated to defending yourself against being a pyramid scheme, no non MLM companies would do such a thing. You would never see Amazon being like, look at us, we're not a pyramid scheme. You wanna know why? Because 85% of our products are sold to people who don't work here. It's just odd. I'm just looking around my desk here and it's like, wouldn't you assume that most people who buy Maybelline lip gloss don't work for Maybelline? Wouldn't you assume that most people who buy a Yeti water bottle don't work for Yeti? In the case of any other non MLM company, that's sort of just a given. I've I've always thought it was so strange that people in these companies feel the need to make this point. Don't worry, we're not a scam. Okay, most of our products are sold to actual customers. It's not a good sign if reps from a company have to convince you that they're not a scam. How to find your discount link. There's a little bit of info in there. <clears throat> I really can't read that tiny, um, but all you have to do is open up your Modair shopping app. You're going to click down bottom right hand little toggle thing, click it. It's going to take you to um, your rewards place. You can then scroll down, copy your link. There's a QR code, all kinds of stuff. So it's super duper easy. Kathleen actually has a really great um, IG reel on this. And I tag my friends in it over and over and over again. And it's the best. It's just her showing you how to do it. So love this. You can scoot collect. Boom. Okay. Winning system. This was something that was really brand new to me. Um, I loved that Modair had all of the bases covered for us. So there's a very, very simple launch system. There's actually launch videos in the Modair business app. Um, and you can literally launch your business before your products arrive. And sometimes we, we get in and we think, okay, I need to a know everything that's wrong. Um, I need to research these products wrong. Like all of that, literally everything is done for you. And that's, what's amazing. So there's built-in social selling tools, supportive community and mentorship, and then world-class training that is poured into us on like so many levels. We have so many amazing people above us and so many people, um, at corporate who are so knowledgeable and just so amazing. And we're just so lucky. So I'm sorry. Did she just say that you could launch your business without ever having tried the products or knowing anything about them? What happened to this isn't an MLM. This is just social marketing where we're selling products we love. The information in this call is so contradictory. Why on earth would they encourage you to start selling for the company without ever having tried the products yet? She just said you could start your Modair business before your product pack arrives. Why would you want to do that? And that right there tells me that at the end of the day, it's not about the products. It's about pitching the opportunity to as many people as possible on social media. And the uplines want you to get to work for them immediately before your stuff even comes in the mail. That is insane to me. Tell me you're in a pyramid scheme without telling me. Okay. Dual sided compensation. Kathleen shared a little bit about this too. So we've got that twice daily pay. This is 
amazing. Um, this is something I'm not used to. I'm used to getting paid once a month. It was always on a different day. Never, ever was it consistent. Um, and it was just kind of like, okay, surprise, here's what you get. So I love the twice daily pay. You can earn up to 36% commission on your customers. In my first month with Modere, I was earning 34% on like 7,000 and some change customer volume. Um, you guys, I literally, I think that that ended up being like 50 customers total. Um, and it really felt like I did no work. So 34% on $7,000 is quite a lot of money. Um, and that's monthly. Like you can, you can make this all the time. So I'm going to translate that for you. Everything she just said about her volume and her customers and yada, yada, what that breaks down to mathematically is she made about $2,300 in commission in her first month with Modere. And this was between 50 customers. I'll give it to her. That is not bad. 2,300 bucks in a month. That's nothing to roll your eyes at. That is wonderful addition income to your other job. But I'll also say this, that's really great money for her. But just because she made that kind of money that quickly does not mean that you are going to make that kind of money that quickly. I always give this example because it's extremely effective at getting the point across. Let's say you join Modare today. You find five customers. They go out and they find five customers who find five, who find five. Within 15 cycles of that level of recruitment, you would exceed the population of the planet. And that's just if everybody on your team finds five customers. She said in her first month, she found 50 customers. And as we already know, the more people who buy Modare products or become salespeople, the less and less people are out there for you to sell to or recruit. So just because she was able to join and get 50 customers like that does not mean that opportunity is gonna be available to you. Not every person who joins Modare is gonna be able to have 50 customers. It's just not mathematically possible. More realistically, I would make the argument that most people who are in Modare have like one to five customers, if that, if any at all. And according to that promoter selling only compensation plan, if you only have five customers, you're only eligible to earn 18% commission at most. So already you're only gonna be making half as much as she did her first month. And let's not forget that the percent commission you get is not just dependent on how many customers you have, it's also dependent on how much those people buy. So let's say you are pretty lucky and you get five customers. Now those customers need to continually be spending at least $100 a month on average for you to maintain that bracket of commissions. If they don't continually spend that much every single month, you're gonna drop down to that first bracket and making only 10% commission on those sales. Or alternatively, it's going to become clear to you pretty quickly that you're going to need to expand that customer pool so that you can maintain certain commissions brackets. For example, she said that she had 50 customers, but she only made 34% commission. She had more than enough customers to put her in that top bracket, making 36% commission, but each of her customers didn't spend enough money on products that month to get her to that top bracket. And remember that the products at hand here are like wellness, personal care, home cleaning products. How often is a single person really gonna need to stock up on face cream and laundry detergent and collagen products? Certainly not every month, I would imagine. So that plays into your numbers too. Maybe you do join and you get 50 customers in the first month, but are all 50 of those customers gonna return to you the next month and spend the same amount of money again? I would say probably not because people don't often need to stock up on these kinds of products every single month. Maybe every two or three months at the best. So maybe you got lucky. Maybe you had 50 customers on month one, but what happens on month two? Did you find 50 more brand new customers? Did your previous customers come back and spend the same amount again? Did you drop in the commissions bracket because you couldn't hold up that sales volume? The point being that this business model is completely unreliable. It's unsustainable. And in this presentation, she's giving prospective recruits the false impression that because she got 50 customers on the first month, that that's going to be possible for you to do and uphold as well. And that's just not fair because that is false. They do that twice daily pay. You can earn an income building a team um, and earn those rank advancement bonuses as well. And I'm sure we'll get more into that, but those are very, very helpful if you're going to do the dual-sided um, compensation plan. <laughs> okay, dual-sided difference. This is going to be tricky for me to read, but if you guys can see it, you can see that there are tons of bonuses. Um, that first rank of team leader is 3000 in overall points. So that's like what you're bringing in yourself and what your entire team below you. So if you and your, you know, your two best friends decide to jump into this together, 
Um, it's going to be all of what you guys are accomplishing wrapped into one. So I like to just say it's like a pool, like we're all jumping into the swimming pool and then you each have your own customer pool and that's where your customer points are going to come in. So you can see on the customer side, that promoter is one to four ninety nine, And then when you hit bronze, you're at 500 customer points. And then if you guys like, just go down with that too, you can see all of the different, um, percentages. So I hit platinum to my first month. Um, and that was such an amazing blessing. And there's just shopping credits that also come with that. That's one thing I want to note on is the shopping credits. So, um, Colette, you can scoot over. It might talk a little bit about this next. Um, maybe. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Go back really quick. Okay. So shopping credits, this is huge for me because like Kathleen said, like our business is based on happy customers. We don't want you guys coming in here and being like, okay, Hey Susie from Kentucky, you actually have to spend $400 this month to earn your paycheck and like make a difference here. And that is so false. Um, and one thing like I, I probably do use like $300 or more worth of product in a month. That's for my husband and myself. Um, and then whatever I'm giving the kids, however, Modair paid me $200 in shopping credits literally on June 1st to use for June's order. So my order ended up being like $286 after they matched my discount. So I got 15% off for just being a VIP. Everyone can be a VIP, whether you're doing the business or not. Um, I got my 15% off there. I then got my, um, loyalty match, which is another discount. So they matched my 15% off as long as I had eight products in my cart. And then I got to also use my shopping credits. So my 390 something dollar order got knocked down to 286. I then applied those $200 in shopping credits and I paid $86 for like $400 worth of stuff. So that is huge and it doesn't cancel out your volume. So say you're order was 300 points and then you use $200 in shopping credits, it's not going to bump you, like knock you down to a hundred points. It's going to keep that 300 points. So you're literally like, like Kathleen said a million times, like they just want you to win here, no matter how that looks for you. If it just looks like, you know, I just want to get my stuff paid for and make 500 bucks a month. Great. You'll probably soar beyond that because we've all done that. Like we've come in and I came in and I was like, Hey, my goal is 10,000 <laughs> total for this first month. We hit over 30,000. And I was just like, what is happening? Like everyone loves it here, um, on the business side, but also these happy customers really are what keep us afloat. And Modair puts so much time and effort into keeping them happy. So you don't have to. And that's where like, it has been so simplified for me and I will never stop shouting how amazing this is because I've seen a lot of things and I've never seen anything like this as far as compensation. Um, you know, the work that needs to be done, which is so little, and then all of the things they lay out for you. It's literally like I pick up my phone for five minutes, do my work, whatever, move along. And then I come back and I've got like, Oh, bing, 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 this person ordered. And you get notifications via text. You get like, there's just so many more amazing things that even though we covered so much here, there's probably still so much that we didn't get to cover. So if you guys have, um, questions, um, am I supposed to be closing this out guys? If I remember right. Okay. So if you guys have questions, you can absolutely type them in this box. If we haven't gotten to them yet, you can also save them for whoever invited you to this call. I zoned out hardcore, I'm not gonna lie. Compensation plan discussion is so, so boring. But there is one thing that did stand out to me that I wanna talk about, and that's that she admits to ordering about $300 worth of product every month for her household. That is outrageous in my eyes. I recognize that she got these different deals and these different layers of discounts and these product credits and all those things, and she didn't actually pay $300 for them. But what is standing out to me is that her saying, I buy this value of products every month, that's showing me how much the MLM reps themselves buy into and rely on their own company's products. They're placing these bulk monthly orders and just bringing more and more products from the company into their home month after month. And the question I have to ask myself is, do you think that these people would be spending that much money on Modern? products if they weren't a rep for the company? My guess is probably not, because let's go back to her previous example where she said that she had 50 customers and between them, she sold $7,000. That means on average, each customer ordered about 
$300 worth of product. She just admitted that she orders $300 worth of product regularly. So that means that her, as a rep, she's admitting to ordering more than double what the average customer would. And again, I realized that she didn't actually spend that much money, but the point still stands that she's consuming Modair products at more than twice the rate of other people that are not involved with the business opportunity. And I think that's highly fascinating and it says a lot about maybe who the primary customers for Modair products are. And now it's kind of making me think back to that whole like 10 to one customer ratio, 85% of our products are sold to customers kind of thing that they were talking about earlier in the call. I wanna know if that ratio is based on the company's revenue because there's a chance that Modair reps, they might be consuming more. They might be taking more of those products and ordering them, but they also might be spending less money than actual customers because they have all these layered discounts and these product credits and whatnot that real customers don't. I hope I'm making sense here. I really feel like I'm not doing a good job explaining it, but if they're saying that 85% of our products are sold to non-reps, is that based on the revenue? Because her just admitting how much volume she orders every month, it's making me wonder if Modair reps truly are the primary customer and consumer of these products, but the statistics are skewed because they're paying less for those products. Do you see what I'm saying? In any case, it's insane to me that anybody could buy $300 worth of cleaning products, skincare products, and supplements every month and be able to maintain that. Um, we also wanted to give you a little sneak peek. There's something crazy, crazy, amazing happening tomorrow. Um, it'll give you an opportunity to join as a social marketer, which is why you came to this call tonight to kind of learn a little bit more. You can join at a discount. It is one of the biggest sales of the year. It is something that they compare to Black Friday sales. So this is happening tomorrow. It's going to be huge for you guys. So if you have questions, like I said, just jump in your DMs right now and DM whoever invited you to this. We are happy to um, answer any questions, give you a little bit more behind the scenes details. We actually have a little landing page all about the sale that we will share with you guys secretly. If you reach out, uh, we cannot share it till tomorrow, but we'll absolutely share with you guys. So we're so excited. I know some of us have extra special deals we're going to give to you. So again, just reach out to your person with questions for more details, all of the things, but we're so grateful that you guys jumped on here tonight. Um, it was our first call together. I think we rocked it. Um, the slides were so helpful and we hope you guys learned something. All in all, we are so happy to be here. And if you are about to join us, so stoked. Can't wait for you. It's seriously life-changing. So the irony of her being like, if you want to start your own Modair business, then we have a great customer sale for you is not lost on me. She's quite literally pitching them the business opportunity by offering them a sale on the product. <laughs> Tell me again that you're not the primary customer here. Which brings me to another point that they actually didn't cover in the call, which I think is important to include, and that's the price to join. The cost to join Modair is between $60 and $660. This depends on which starter kit you buy and how many products are included in that. And of course, there's bigger incentives. There's plenty of reasons that a person would want to buy a more expensive starter kit. For example, the bigger kits have more volume points. The bigger kits have more products to try. So the people pitching them to you are going to be like, well, if you're going to sell this stuff, you're going to want to try a variety of products. Oh, Zeke. You may as well want to get a bigger kit because it's at a discount and you'll never get this deal again kind of thing. So I thought that was kind of interesting that this is an opportunity call where they're giving you information on how to join, yet they don't tell you what the cost is to join. But it sounds like they're finishing up the call by saying there's a big sale. <laughs> join at an extra small discount, right? And another piece they did not address, which is very important, is the income disclosure statement. So I'm gonna throw that in here too. This tells us how much people in the company actually make. They can give their personal anecdotes all day long, but they didn't reference the income disclosure one time. In short, 82% of people in Modare make less than $500 a month, and less than 1% of people in Modare make more than $5,000 in a month. Additionally, keep in mind that these figures never account for expenses, so they don't account for the money you have put into the company in the form of your starter kit, in the form of your $300 worth of product you spend every month. So you would need to subtract the amount of money you've spent from the money you have made in order to see a true reflection of your profits. This income disclosure tells us the exact same story that every other MLM income disclosure tells us, and that is the vast majority of the commissions are paid out to the very, very teeny tiny percent of people at the top and that most of the people who sit at the bottom of the compensation plan make little if nothing at all. So in conclusion to this Zoom call, I will admit again that Modair does have its little unique aspects to it. The referral code pro 
program, the product credit program, the fact that they have two different compensation plans, one for just selling and one for recruiting. But I'm gonna drive this point home again that that doesn't mean that Modair is not an MLM. If your company offers you a compensation plan with charts that outline the different ways that you can make money off of your downline and the different bonuses you can make if you decide to build a team, then congrats, you're in an MLM. The only thing that would make Modair not an MLM is if they got rid of that entire team building compensation plan altogether. If they just cut that out, got rid of it, then yes, you would have a valid argument as to why Modair does not fall into the category of multi-level marketing. If they only had that promoter product sales compensation plan and nothing else, that would be valid. But in Modair, people are still paid better for recruiting than they are for selling. The products are still ridiculously overpriced. The sales and the recruitment tactics are still very predatory. Most people in the company are paid virtually nothing while a tiny percent of people are paid everything. And Modair still checks every single box as far as being an MLM company, even if you would like to call yourself social marketing. And with that, that's all I have for you for this Modair opportunity call. I would love to hear your thoughts down below because no doubt there are Modair reps out there pushing this narrative that they're not an MLM to try and get people sucked into it. And if you've had that kind of experience, I would love to hear it down below. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I'll see you in my next one real soon.